You guys are asking me for my mortgage clause and I have no clue what you're asking for. The mortgage clause is a vital piece in getting your flood policy set up correctly, whether it's a new purchase or through a home refinance because often the mortgagee is the one paying the flood insurance premium. In this short video, we'll discuss what a mortgage clause is and more importantly, why it's important that we have the correct one listed and lastly, where you can find it. Let's get it. We'll explain what the mortgage clause is in just a second, but the reason why it's so important in relation to your flood insurance policy is that the premium payment is often paid by the mortgagee. You may have refinanced your property, and if we aren't notified of the new lender and clause, which also includes a loan number, then we will not receive the premium payment at renewal, and you risk having your policy lapse. The mortgage clause is the legal description of the entity that has a financial interest in your property. Generally, it's the name and address of the lender as well as the loan number. Pretty simple. But you may also see the following letters within the clause, ISAOA and ATIMA. This is where it may get a little confusing. ISAOA stands for its successors and or assigns. This simply means the rights of the mortgagee can be transferred to any entity that purchases your bank, or that the bank can assign the right of financial indemnity to another company. This often happens when your loan is sold or serviced by a different organization than which lent you the money, ATIMA. This stands for, as their interest may appear. Ultimately, it's legal speak for, that guarantees the rights of indemnification to the entity that lends money for property rather than to you. The mortgage clause is a protective agreement between the lender and property insurance provider. This could be for both hazard or fire insurance and flood insurance. It simply protects the lender from financial losses in the event the mortgage holder becomes damaged. It establishes that loss to be mortgaged, property is payable to the mortgagee named in the policy. Okay, so now that we got past the legal side, how do you find it? Well, there are a few ways. One, you can simply call your lender and ask specifically for the mortgagee clause. Even easier is to go online. Log into your lender's website portal and search there. I've added a screenshot of what my personal one looks like. My loan currently is with JP Morgan Chase. I logged into my account and in the insurance section was able to locate it. This area includes whatever policies you may have, such as hazard and flood insurance. It includes the exact information we would need to issue your policy or to bill your lender for your annual premium. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us anytime. See you in the next video.